This is how to put your War Thunder into your Steam account, and I don't mean just adding it to libraries so that, like, I suppose that would work as well, but technically it's not the same. Um, you can you could still ten technically have two versions of War Thunder in your account. Um, because War Thunder recently came out on Steam, I say recently, it was a while ago, but now I'm making this video anyway, so it was recently. It recently came out on Steam, and for those of us who got War Thunder before it came out on Steam, um, we want to have some nice consistency, and for it to all be nice and flush and proper in, in our Steam account. So this is how you move your normal War Thunder download, which you have in your computer, over to Steam. Um, without having to re-download it in Steam. So go start, computer, whatever that was, it, it probably has a different name for you, but the main one which has all your stuff in it. Program files x86 is what you want to find. Um, scroll down until you, until you find Steam, then go down and find Steam apps, and common, and this is where all your Steam games are stored. This is where all your Steam, I mean all of them, any game you have on Steam, I know it doesn't seem like I have that many, um, this is where all the information is stored. This file probably has the most gigabytes of your entire computer stored just in this one file, common. Anyway, so just keep that open, put that down over to the side, and go start, go computer again, go into this again, go x86 again, um, and then scroll down, this time don't go to Steam, go down to where your War Thunder is. So see this? War Thunder. This is just an empty folder I've made for the uh, purposes of an example, but all your War Thunder files will be in this. So what you want to do is firstly, make sure that this file has a space between the R and the T. Because as you can see, the downloaded file on Steam has a space between the R and the T. And if there's even a slight difference in the name, then Steam won't recognize that as the game, and Steam will download the entire game again. So what you want to do, make sure there's, rename it, it won't have a space between it, rename it so that War Thunder is exactly the same as that War Thunder, so capital W, capital T, space in between, no punctuation, nothing like that. Okay? Then what you want to do, is just cut that folder, etc., imagine I cut that, and then paste it, paste it right into this common folder. And that's basically all you have to do. Um, you can close these now, then go into Steam, find War Thunder, search it, find it in the store or whatever, it's free to play, so you don't have to pay anything. Um, you just find it, you click download or play, and it'll start to download. Um, um, it'll download about one gigabyte, or it might, you know, do that later, but at one point you do have to download an update thing to sync it all up with Steam, but it's a lot less. It's like one gigabyte instead of like an eight gigabyte normal download. Anyway, so you do download that. And then, um, it'll be in your library, and it'll skip, it'll say that it's doing the full 7 gigabyte download, but it'll only actually download about 1 gigabyte, and then it will just skip all the rest, because it realizes all the rest is still, is actually already in the folder. Um, so as long as you've renamed it right, it should just skip all the rest, and suddenly it'll go from like, you know, 999 megabytes to 7 gigabytes completed, and then you'll be able to play it. Um, and then it's in your Steam library, so if I go into my library, there it is. I have two copies of this, because one of the copies um, is the proper War Thunder copy, and the other one is a non-Steam mod or shortcut, which happens when you go add a game, add a non-Steam game. So this is the non-Steam game version, and this is the War Thunder, the proper game version. You see, if I click this now, it says, if I try to launch it, it says, failed to launch War Thunder, because all the files I cut out of that folder, and I put into the proper one where there's actually information and backgrounds and can tell you what your friends have been playing and stuff. Um, so yeah, and then you should be done, and then you should be able to play it. So I'll just go right ahead and delete that shortcut, um, and that's how you put War Thunder into Steam. I found this on some forums, it took me a while to find it, so I thought I'd make a YouTube video. Yeah, I know I'm not very popular, but if you're lucky enough to find this video, I hope it helps you out, because it helped me out when I first figured out how to do it. If you want, check out some of my other videos. If not, um, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.